भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जया मुदीर हे नष्ट प्रायद्रेश भागवत सेवया भगवते उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टकी सो वी आर कंटिन्यूअसली स्टडी फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टू चैप्टर नाइन टेक्स्ट नाइन विद ब्लेसिंग्स एंड परमिशन फ्रॉम ऑल माय सीनियर्स एंड एक्सॉल्टेड डिवोटीज आई वुड लाइक टू रिफ्लेक्ट वाट शिल पोपाथ इज गिविंग एस थ्रू इज ग्रेट लिटरेचर तस्म स्वलोक भगवान्भाजि संदर्शया आस पर नत्म व्यात संक्लेश विमोह साधवस स्वृष्टवादीषुत तस्म स्वलोक भगवान्भाजि संदर्शयामास परम नयत पर व्यापे संक्लेश विमोह साधवस स्वृष्टवदीरपुरुषरभीषुत तस्म स्वलोक भगवान्भाजि संदर्शयामास परम नयत पर व्यापेत संक्लेश विमोह साधवस स्वृष्टवदीरपुरुषरभीषुत तस्म स्वलोक भगवान्भाजि संदर्शयामास परम नयत पर व्यापेत संक्लेश विमोह साधवस स्वृष्टवदीरपुरुषरभीषुत तस्मा स्वलोक भगवान्भाजिताक भगवान्भाजि दर्शयामास पर संदर्शयामास पर संक्लेश संक्लेश विमोह साधवस स्वृष्टवदीरपुरुषरभीषुत स्वलोक भगवान्स 
Sabhajita Sandarshayama Sabhajitaparam Vyabhita Sanklesha Vimoha Sadrasam Word meaning. Tasmai unto him. Swalokam his own planet or abode. His own planet or abode. Bhagavan the personality of Godhead. Sabajitaha being pleased by the penance of Brahma. Sandarshayam asa manifested. Param, the Supreme, na, not, yad, of which, Param, for the Supreme, Vyapeta, completely given up, Sanklesha, five kinds of material affections, Vimoha, without illusion, Sadhavasam, fear of material existence. Swadrishtavadvihi, by those who have perfectly realized the Self. Purushay, by persons. Abhishtutam, worshipped by. Translation. The personality of God had been thus very much satisfied with the penance of Lord Brahma, was pleased to manifest his personal abode, Vaikuntha, the supreme planet above, the, above all others. This transcendental abode of the Lord is adored by all self-realized persons, freed from all kinds of miseries and fear of illusory existence. Please repeat. The personality of Godhead being thus very much satisfied with the penance of Lord Brahma was pleased to manifest his personal abode, Vaikuntha, the supreme planet above all others. This transcendental abode of the Lord is Adored by all self-realized persons, freed from all kinds of miseries and fear of illusory existence. Purport. The troubles of penance accepted by Lord Brahma were certainly in the line of devotion service, bhakti. Otherwise, there was no chance that Vaikuntha or Swalokam the Lord's personal abodes would become visible to Brahmaji. The personal abode of the Lord, known as Vaikuntas, are neither mythic, mythical nor material, as conceived by the impersonist. But realization of the transcendental abode of the Lord is possible only through devotional service, and thus the devotees enter into such abodes. There is undoubtedly trouble in executing penance. But the trouble accepted in executing bhakti yoga is transcendental happiness from the very beginning. Whereas the trouble to penance in other process of self realization, jnana yoga, dhyana yoga, etc., without any vaikuntha realization, ends in troubles, ends in trouble only and nothing more. There is no profit in biting husk without grains. Similarly, 
there is no profit in executive the, sorry there is no profit in executing troublesome penances other than bhakti yog for self realization executing bhakti yog is exactly like sitting on the lotus sprouted out of the abdomen of transcendental personality of godhead for lord brahma was seated there brahma ji was able to please the lord and the lord was also pleased to show brahma ji his personal abode Shri Rajiva Goswami in the comments of his Krama Sandarbha annotation of Shrimad Bhagavatam cites quotation from the Garga Upanishad Vedic evidence it is said that Yagya Valkya described the transcendental award of the Lord to Gargi and that the award of the Lord is situated above the highest planet of the universe namely Brahma Loka This award of the Lord through describing revealed scriptures like Bhagavad Gita and Shrimad Bhagavatam remains only a myth for the less intelligent class of men with a poor fund of knowledge. Herein, the word Swadhishta Dvi is very significant. One who has actually realized his self-realized and transcendental form of oneself, impersonal realization of self and the supreme is not complete because it is just an opposite conception of material personalities the personality of godhead and the personalities of devotees of the lord are all transcendental they do not have material bodies the material body is overcast with five kinds of miserable conditions namely ignorance material conception attachment hatred and absorption as long as one is overwhelmed by these five kinds of material miseries there is no question of entering into vaikuntha lokas the impersonal conception of one self is just negation of material personality and is far from the positive existence of personal form the personal forms of the transcendental abode will be explained in the following verses Brahma ji also described the highest planet of the Vaikuntha Loka or Goloka Vrindavan where the lord resides as a cowherd boy keeping transcendental surabhi cows and surrounded by hundreds and thousands of goddesses of fortune Chinta mani prakar sadam sukalp vriksha laksha vrites surabhi vipalayantam लक्ष्मी सहस्र शत संभ्रम सेव्यम गोविंदमादिपुरुषम तम अहम भजा द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द भगवदगीता यद्वान निवर्तन ते तम परम तम इज ऑल्सो कन्फर्म्ड हियर विथ परम मीन्स ट्रांसेंडेंटल ब्राह्मण दे आर फॉर द अबॉर्ड ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज ऑल्सो ब्राह्मण नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड The Lord is known as Vaikuntha and his abode is also known as Vaikuntha such Vaikuntha realization and worship can be made possible by transcendental form and senses Om Gyan Timirandha Sagyanam Jana Shalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tasmay Shri Gurave Namaha श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ट स्थापित ये न भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाति स्वदाथिक वंदे अहम श्रीगुरुश्रीयुत पदकमला श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात स गण रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधाकृष्ण पादान सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगिराधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुतदेवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकलपतरुभ कृपा सिंधुभव च पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सादि गौरभक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे वन सो वेन वी मेडिटेट अपॉन द प्रीवियस वर्सेस वी विल फाइंड दैट लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा he is meditating after listening the two words tapa and it was just information for him that what to do and he accepted this divine voice that it's coming from the supreme personality of godhead as he is mentioned in the shastra he is the most intelligent person in this universe so immediately he start acting upon after listening these two syllables ta and pa so immediately what he did the next action like he he control his all senses his all uh, his all other limbs just like the tortoise in a fear or in a protection tortoise they they draw back their all senses their limbs their head inside their coin their, their shell likewise lord brahma immediately he concentrated on the listening on meditation upon this two words and i was listening one of the class his holy prophet charu maharaj was describing that when lord brahma he started meditating he heard the flute sound of lord krishna and that sound was gayatri so he meditated upon the gayatri for next thousand years and he was so much firm and he was so much focusing on his meditation that lord himself become very pleased and and in this verse Sukadev so Goswami is mentioning that by his austerity by his penance lord was very pleased and he manifest himself in front of lord brahma rather he manifest his entire planet <coughs> and normally this is the quality of a jiva that they are very much influenced by the position of a person they are attracted by the person's personality his wealth his richness in material world also and lord brahma as he is the first incarnation as a jiva by supreme personality he is the gateway for the entire human kind or entire other species to look the aishwarya the opulence of the lord and further Prabhupada is mentioning from Brahma Samhita Chinta Mani Prakara Sadmashu. So, Lord's abode is made of a valuable jewel, Chinta Mani. All the buildings, floor, everything is made of valuable valuable jewel, which we cannot understand in this material world through our senses, because this Chinta Mani is so expensive, so so exquisite, so excellent, and. then is saying lord brahma is saying further in his brahma samhita the all trees they were desire tree and all cows they were suravi and in center of this all opulence lord govinda is served by sata sahasra lakshmi so the thousands of lakshmi is hundred and thousands of lakshmi they are serving to whom govinda he is the centrally situated there lord brahma vision this thing so this is the way we come to understand that how much opulence lord has and still we are not attracted towards the opulence which is just opposite of our human nature just we call when we see some celebrity people they just gather around him no matter the celebrity from the movie or from the sports or from the politics 
people they just surrounded him why because this person has something which i don't have so they are admiring and they are following but though lord brahma is describing the opulence of the lord and through the shrimad bhagavatam through brahma samhita we are not attracted so it's nothing wrong with the scripture because the veda says yasya nasti swayam pragya shastram tasya karoti kim lochana pa vihinasya darpana ki karishyati it means the person whose own eyes have a problem he cannot see through his eyes so there is nothing wrong with the mirror that he cannot see his own image because the problem is with the eyes not with the mirror same way yes se nasti swayam pragya if we are not opening our own intelligence the eyes uh, the intelligence eyes we cannot get benefit from the scripture though the everything is mentioned there and prophet is further mentioning that lord also is describing his opulence in bhagavad gita he is saying yat gatvala nivartante tad dhamam paramam mama nat uh, lord is saying in his bhagavad gita my lord my land or my abode or my planet is self illuminated it doesn't need any sun or moon to see around normally we are blind in absence of sunlight or moonlight we need support the eyes they are perfect but we need support of the light from the sun or moon to see to see the things clear but lots of what is different they doesn't need sun or planet or any kind of light to see the things around they are so beautiful even shrimad bhagavatam is describing also the lower planets there is no sunlight but they are self illuminated because they have so valuable jewel in the presence of those all jewel the land their planet is illuminated which is also out of our perception which is out of our understanding but this planet earth is so important place for finance only <coughs> but we don't understand the importance or the value of our human life and again and again we are we are trapping we are falling in the in the trap of according to the sankracharya punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jathare shayanam bahu vipadare yah sansare भज गोविंदम भज गोविंदम भज गोविंदम मूढ़ मते प्रोपार्ट हैव डिस्क्राइब इन हिस क्लासेस द मूढ़ रास्कल्स यू विल ऑलवेज टेक बर्थ इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड यू विल ऑलवेज डाई विदाउट चैंटिंग द नेम ऑफ गोविंदा देयर इज नो अदर वे दैट पीपल विल गेट अवे फ्रॉम द साइकल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ आफ्टर महाभारत वॉर इवन विदरा वॉज आस्किंग Vidhava Vidhra was asked by Dhritarashtra because his hundred son they are killed everything is taken over by the Pandavas now this is the time to go for the exile self exile to do the penance so he was asking Vidhura what is the solution not to suffer in this material world Vidhura answered that there is a only way we can save ourselves from the suffering in this material world not to take birth in any womb out of 8 million 400000 species the problem starts when the jiva is taking birth in this material world or when they are coming in the womb of a mother and the suffering is for the both the mother who is giving birth and the child who is taking birth no matter in which species there there is no physical evidence as per the science for the animal birth that how much pain they are bearing while they are delivering a child but according to the science journal when a mother the human the human mother when they are delivering a child birth they feel a pain of like a cracking of 20 bones of the body that much pain they are bearing during the child birth 
and they have a kind of a measurement how to how to measure pain and according to that the woman when they are giving child birth they are they are having a pain of 54 that level is 54 and which is unbearable for the man if we, it if it will will exceed 45 means that pain level if it is cross 45 the male body the man he will die but women they still surviving though they are crossing till 54 that much pain that much pain they are bearing when they are giving birth to a child and still we don't understand we don't realize that how much pain we are bearing while we are while we are taking birth and it is shastra is saying also that before coming to this material world the jiva they are crying they are praying to the lord that oh my lord please save me when i will come out in this material world from the material affections or material uh, material um, affects on me but we don't understand once we come out in this material world we like to enjoy this material world but this human body this especially this human body is meant for penance what brahma is representing what brahma is showing here and when we see this all awful and says we got attracted why we are not attracted toward the lord and is about because we don't have the test unless we don't have the test for the something greater thing we will be always in this material world try to enjoy a chewable which is already chewed like prabhupad is also giving example the camel they are eating this bushes in a forest area and the desert area which is full of thorns so while they were chewing this all thorns his tongue is start bleeding and the salt taste from that blood is what is getting and is thinking wow these thorns are so tasty so so salty without realizing that he is hurting his own tongue the same thing is with us we are we are suffering each and every day and we are thinking okay tomorrow will be the better and we started our day same like without taking lesson from the brahma that what next is lying for us what is the best thing is there for us a jiva as long as is suffering this material world till there is no mercy of the vaishnava or the sadhu without the mercy of vaishnava or sadhu the suffering will be continue and prabhu is mentioning here one very nice thing he is describing the material body is overcast with five kinds of miserable conditions namely ignorance material conception attachment hatred and absorption and according to madhurya kadambini this is from the madhurya kadambini it is mentioned there about this five thing which is known as avidya asmita rag dvesh avinivesh so people they are suffering in this material world when the avidya or ignorance is there and from ignorance the second quality manifest that is material conception and the third point is a rag and dvesh attachment and hatred and ultimately the person will will fall into the trap of fearfulness and this fearfulness is the reason for the people to keep struggling in this material world and this fearfulness is known as a pavarga according to sanskrit words sanskrit has 46 letters and they are all scientific like it was mentioned in a, before the shloka that how this to and pa are different they are situated in different places in the in the total world in a, in a, in, a, in a total dictionary of sanskrit the 46 letters are there so there is a one line is known as a pa varga pa pha ba bha ma 
and saintly person they are describing pavarga and a person a self realized or a intelligent person should try to come to on the level at least on apa varga what is the pa varga pa is a parishram means labor humans they are doing a lot of labor a lot of physical work to get some material benefit and second letter is the fa fa means fena or fume so when we see the animals like a dog Uh, like a uh, dogs or horses when they are running a lot so some leather is coming out from their mouth that is a fur fena per for bur and bur means they are doing a lot of labor a lot of work and the bha bha means bhaya fear and out of this all work still they are not certain they are not sure that they will get the result what what they are accepting what 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 he is accept, um, expecting in this in this life out of this all kind of labor and the last letter is ma is a mrityu death death is the biggest fear in a human so the saintly person they are saying that a person should try to come out from this pa varg situation what is the opposite is apa varga surrender oneself to the supreme personality of god head as per the instructions of spiritual master without the instruction without the support of a spiritual master no one can come over from this material material miseries as it is mentioned here So Brahma, he was trying by his own self to find out the cause, the root of his manifestation. When he failed, then he heard the sound tapa, and he took this word very seriously that this is coming from the spiritual master, from the from supreme personality of Godhead, and he start meditating, and he got Gayatri. Through the Gayatri mantra. he was meditating upon and at last by the mercy of the lord he was able to see the vaikuntha planet the abode of the lord and he could see his situation and he could see the opulence of the lord like we know that different personalities they got attracted towards the devotional services by the different type of opulences chatush kumara they were attracted towards the lord's worship just by the smelling of the tulsi which is offered to the lotus feet of the lord that's why even we are also getting attracted by the lord in a different way some attracted by the prashadam some attracted by the dressing of the lord some attracted by the kirtan some attracted by the class by the scripture given by shri prabhupa and we are all meditating we are all doing this tapasya this austerity somebody is nicely they are meditating upon the lord how to decorate him so beautiful somebody is meditating how we can make a beautiful temple for the lord all the stairs floor wall ceiling everything will be so beautiful that due to this beauty people will be attracted and they will become a devotee of the lord but this all connected with the devotional services no matter whatever the services is there maybe even the even the sweeping the floor is also a kind of a devotional practice devotional service because when the when the some outsider when the visitor will come he will find the place is so nicely clean well maintained it will it will give a good good impression on his mind on his consciousness who knows maybe that cleanliness will bring him to krishna consciousness i think this is the time when i can ask devotees question or comment or any input any input any comment bhagavad gita prabhu yes is you please give her the microphone i just have a small 
can't hear you. I just have to know your question that I was thinking. You were saying that you know, Lord is all attractive. Lord is all attractive. And that we can be attracted by many different things. And um, something what his great question Shri Prabhu says, that we just have to um, be sensitive to these things, find, I'm paraphrasing, he doesn't say, but he says something like that. That we have to find the spark, you know, if it's prashadam, right? If it's prashadam, if it's something, you know, a person likes to clean, a person likes to do heavy duty work, right? Everyone can be encouraged, and it's all devotional service. So I appreciate this point. That, and um, it definitely will bring the person to a spiritual life. This lifetime, or maybe in a hundred of lifetimes, but it definitely will bring. Because whatever you do to the Lord, it, it all counted. It's, it's, it doesn't go in vain. Thank you. Thank you. Like, you have any question? Yeah. Like, um, there are so many things which is which is attracted, and sometimes the way something is happening in our own personal life in an initial stage when we start doing practicing Krishna bhakti, sometimes we are also very much surprised that is it related with devotion? How? How, how sweeping the floor is a part of devotional service. So I can share my experience when I joined ISKCON in Mayapur. So I was visiting, before joining ISKCON for a long time, I was visiting to Mayapur. So the very next morning, we all were asked to sweep the floor, the road. And I was thinking, how sweeping the road is related with Krishna's pastime or Krishna Bhakti. So anyway, I followed the order, I received the floor and road and everything and I came for the Bhagavatam class. And in that particular Bhagavatam class, it was a story of... Uh, I'm now, now I'm missing the name of that great personality. So he was given seva to sweep the area of uh, Nidivan in Vrindavan. When he was sweeping the floor, he found a two-piece, a two-jewel of a woman. Shyamananda Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. And, and he kept this jewel for, in, in his possession because he, because he realized that after touching the jewel, he has a spiritual vibration. So he understood that this is a Nidhi one and this jewel belonged to some celestial body. So, and in the Vaikuntha Loka, Srimati Radharani is asking her, her friend Vishaka Devi, sorry, Lalita Devi, Lalita, I think while we were traveling in a Nidhiban, accidentally I dropped my toe ring there. So, Lalita Devi, she came in a disguise of an old lady and she asked Samananda Prabhu, did you find any jewel here? He said, yes, I did find, oh, give it to me, that belongs to my master. But Shamananda Prabhu was very intelligent because it says that Jara Krishna Bhaje Tara Bodo Chotur. Whoever is chanting the name of the Lord, they become very intelligent by the mercy of the Lord. So Shamananda Prabhu says that no, I will not give it to you. Call your master, I will match this this toe ring with another toe ring, then I'll give it to you. How do I know that you are the authentic person, you are the original person asking for this? So Srimati Radharani she appeared and Shamananda Prabhu he, and, and he got blessings of Srimati Radharani. So it was the story from, from the Shastra, but immediately I related oh, this story belongs to me. This is instructions to me because I was calculating how sweeping the road is related with the Krishna Bhakti. But who knows by sweeping the road I will get also mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because it was further explained that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with his associate, they are keep doing Harinam Sankirtan in the land of Navadi. So they are keep traveling from one place to another place. So the sweeping the floor means that we are making the clear road for the Lord and his associates to do Harinam. So that was my realization and 
and further than there was no question whenever authority they were asking to do any any seva without any if and but i start engage in that seva because i understood that maybe this is lord is is asking me to do through some devotee any further question or comment or i would like to stop here today We just happened to be in the forest. Thank you. We have we have many realizations. As you go along, you understand the world. Please give the mic like this. You know? Okay. So we were in the kitchen cooking for that body yesterday, and I was saying that you know the best parts of the service is actually the cleaning, and when we cook for Krishna, and so the place is rather nice. So we're in Radharani's kitchen. So Radharani keeps everything clean, the utensils, everything. So I was hearing the class, um, some classes. We're just the instrument. And it's Krishna's energies that are actually making everything work. So we're just the instrument for the brush, the broom, the, the, the water. To be able to do this thing, it's a yeah, nice realization. Thank you. Thank you. And also, um, this is my realization after reading this particular verse from Brahma Samhita. Like many of us, due to our laziness, due to our nature, we are not taking the devotional services very seriously. We are thinking, okay, this is my seva given to me. I I must finish this seva and this, and just get out from here. We are thinking like this. We are taking the seva so so granted. But if we look at the third line of Brahma Samhita, it says that Lakshmi Sahasra Sata Sambrahma Sevya Manam. So Lord Brahma is giving this warning and I don't know that how many devotees we have this understanding or realization from this Brahma Samhita, this particular line is a warning. If Sata Sahasra, thousands of Lakshmi, they are waiting to serve Lord and somehow if I got a chance to do any seva, Suppose, like Mataji is saying about the kitchen, that is Radharani's place, it means that there are also Lakshmis are waiting for the cooking for the Lord. And somehow, if I got a chance to enter in the kitchen to cook for the Lord, it means I am not comparing that myself or anybody else is uh, as parallel as to Lakshmi Devi, but by Lord's mercy, by Simati Radharani's mercy, I got a chance to cook for the Lord who is situated there. I am very much fortunate. So, without thinking ourselves that we are equal to Srimati Radharani or Lakshmi Devi, but by the mercy of the Lord, by the mercy of our Acharya, by the mercy of our spiritual master, I got the chance to enter that kitchen which belongs to Srimati Radharani to cook something for the Lord. We have to we have to take this message so seriously. And Brahma is already mentioning, thousands of Lakshmi are waiting. And if I will not do my service nicely, I will be kicked out from that place and from that seva. Yes. And uh, something else, it just brought one memory to uh, my mind. Once uh, one Pujari in Brooklyn here told me a very interesting thing, and I still remember it. It's, it's just so valuable. But he said, you know, like every morning we sing uh, Tulsi prayer. We don't read it here. In Brooklyn we would read it, the English translation, so I can understand what he's singing about. And in the fourth um, verse, we say, please give me the privilege of devotional service. So, if you really think about it, it's privilege. You know, <coughs> if you see full hand devotees, right? They don't work. They have the best food, they have the best cloth, you know, they don't have to like really work for it, right? How do they get it? You know, just by the mercy of the Lord, just because it's a it's a privilege, you know, that if you go outside even, you know, to go to some kind of restaurant, right? This is not the fact it's fresh. You know. <laughs> It's, it's just a fact, it's not a world, right? But it's, it's really a privilege. And when we really see it like this, every single 
thing, you know, it's like, oh, how can I serve? You know, you come to temple, if you come with a really consciousness, how can I serve? Not just, you know, enjoy or something. It's there, obviously, but like, how can I serve? And then, it doesn't really matter whether I can sweep, or I can clean, or I can cook, or I can dress, because ultimately, for Krishna, it doesn't really, he doesn't make these distinctions. Whether somebody sweeps, this person is better for me than somebody dressed me, something like that. It's only like in our material mind, like that. There is no difference. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Because they are all transcendental. Everything, whatever we are doing for the Lord's service, everything is transcendental. It is just on us that how we are connecting ourselves or our consciousness and how we are devoting ourselves in that particular seva which is given to us. See, Brahmaji is, is meditating and Lord is giving him instructions what to do and how to do. I would say that we are in a better position because at, already we know that what is my seva which is given us by the authority. I have to clean, I have to dress, I have to cook, I have to sing, I have to give class. They are all seva related with the Lord. I would like to stop here. Yeah, yeah, please continue. I was thinking also that uh, usually, you know, it's like you get attached to the service, some kind of service, and I just have a very nice story. I don't remember uh, this devotee's name, but he's very um, famous. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I believe he was in my program at all in Vindavan, and he was uh, some Kirtan leader for like huge amount of brown chairs, huge amount of, you know, like huge parts are going out. And he would be classes every single morning on some kirtan, before they go on some kirtan. And they had this chair, you know, like a chair from the van. This is what we asked us <laughs> when they were sitting, and when this group was sitting. And once, you know, there was a cook, he was, you know, he, something happened and, you know, he couldn't cook anymore. And then the temple authorities, they asked him, okay, do you think you can take over the service? And he didn't even, he didn't even think about it. He just stood from his chair and he went to the kitchen. And he was cooking every single day a rice block and, you know, of course, he did everything nicely. The point is, you know, when like a bath devotee takes off any kind of service, it becomes perfect. Whether it's cleaning, whether it's kitchen, whether it's uh, book distribution or deity worship. Yeah. And uh, I would like to bring one more point here, like uh, Tapasya, what Brahmaji is doing here and ultimately he got the darshan of Lord, he sees the Lord and is aboard. If you look at the all great asuras, all demons, all the demons, they were doing also great austerity. Hundreds and thousands of years they were doing austerity, but they were doing austerity for the material benefit, for the material boon, so they can control the entire universe. And we, and whereas we have to devote, as a devotee, we should see that why we are doing this thing in the material world. If we don't work for the particular job with your full sincerity and with your full dedication, you will be no more in a job. You are, you are out from the job. And after doing this job, you are getting the remuneration or salary or maintenance, whatever is there. So that is also tapasya. But that tapasya, the result of the tapasya is limited and that is material. But whatever devotees they are doing, that tapasya is, is, is not temporary, that's permanent and that's spiritual. So we have to take this tapasya very seriously because Doing austerity is not just sitting and meditating on the Lord's name. Even the cooking, cleaning the floor, making dress, this is also tapasya. So when we are doing tapasya, we should do tapasya very seriously that we will get the desire, our desire result, what, what I am asking for. So we have to do this tapasya very seriously, so we will get benefit ultimately. If any further question or comment or I would like to conclude this class here today. Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda ki Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada ki Nitai Gaur Primanande Hari Hari Gaur Jai Shri Ramana Karangadas ki Jai
Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Ah, very nice. Hare Krishna.